police officer stopped me on the sidewalk and asked to see my ID. He sweated me about my name. They were charging me with jaywalking. The officers said, you're not above the law. You have to learn your place. The man whose music is as controversial as he is. Shakur's fans knew him as a superstar exponent of West Coast style gangsta rap, a rapper and aspiring movie star whose music and violent lyrics reflected his own troubled lifestyle. Mr. Shakur, can we get a comment from you? Hell no. no. Thug life. Thug life. Thug life. Thug life. That's my comment. Yeah. When he put that pen to paper and he opened up his mouth on that mic, it was just, you know, God had to be working. There is absolutely no reason for a record like this to be published by a responsible corporation. His lyrics are what made him famous because they glorified violence, they glorified drugs, and they glorified the degrading of women. After he had been beaten by the Oakland police, that changed to him. Young black men go through that process where you get great anger at the reality. I just want um, the chance to make right from all the bad things that I got, you know? I got a lot of things against me. I got a lot of people that look up to me. And I don't want the last place for them to see me is in jail. I loved my childhood but I hated growing up poor, and it made me uh, very bitter. 1996, Tupac Shakur is the most successful hip-hop artist in the world. Tupac was a king of rap. He's the angry voice of urban America. Yes, I am gonna say that I'm a thug. That's because I came from the gutter. People in the hood call him Black Jesus. They was like, he was sent here to save us. The only plan for Tupac Shakur was making it to the top in the competitive world of hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? If thugging is gonna make me a million bucks, because it just got me platinum, and that's what I got to do. And why do you think that your mother had that time of weakness with crack? Everything was just going bad for her. It's harder for a woman to raise a family than it is for a man. This represents the first time in our life, in our memory, ever, that we have been able to enjoy the American dream. When his first record was appearing on MTV, Tupac was beaten in the head very badly. I call this press conference to announce that I have filed a $10 million claim against two Oakland police officers and the city of Oakland on behalf of Tupac. Police officers stopped me on the sidewalk and asked to see my ID. They sweated me about my name. They were charging me with jaywalking. The officers said, you are not above the law. You have to learn your place. Put my hand out to get the citation. Next thing I know, my face was being buried into the concrete and I was laying face down in the gutter, waking up from being unconscious in cuffs with blood on my face and I'm going to jail for resisting arrest. Think about it, if you stop in the streets and you show your ID and you still getting sweated because of your name, my name makes me a criminal. After he had been beaten by the Oakland police, that changed. Young black men go through that process where you get great anger at the reality. And we shouldn't be angry. And my raps that I'm rapping to my community shouldn't be filled with rage. And they shouldn't be filled with the same atrocities that they gave to me. In the media, they don't talk about it. So in my raps, I have to talk about it. And it just seems foreign because there's no one else talking about it. Right now, where I'm at, the world is harsh. And I just don't got no beautiful stories. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just be getting them ready. Cause that's why I think I messed up. If somebody would've grabbed me, pulled me to the side and been like, look, Tupac, as soon as you step out here, they're gonna be at you. If somebody would've explained it to me, I wouldn't have took the same mistakes, but I made those mistakes. And that was my job to stop somebody else from making those same mistakes. To lay it out, to lay out the real map on your world and how it is. There is absolutely no reason for a record like this to be published by a responsible corporation. There are three things wrong with gangster rap and misogynist lyrics. It is obscene, it is obscene, it is obscene. It is fundamentally wrong. I hope they have recognized their mistake, and I hope in the future that they will exercise better responsibility for what these records will do on the street. Like all black leaders, you have a bullseye on your back, and today it just got bigger. California, yeah, you already going soft on me. Oh, I'm going soft? So soft. You got the tears in your eyes. The tears flow, and I'm getting soft. Ah.
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna miss you. He was like a magnet. It was like once, once you paid attention to him, he kind of sucked you in. He would tell me all the time, Jada, you're gonna be a star. You know what I mean? I'm like, Pa, come on. He's like, you're gonna be a star. You got it. You just got it. I don't think either one of us really thought that we would have made it in the way that we did. But we knew we were going to do something. What we're doing is using our brain to get out of the ghetto any way we can. So we tell these stories, you know what I'm saying? And they tend to be violent because our world tends to be filled with violence. We live in hell. We live in the gutter. We got us stacked up 80 deep in one building. You strapped to protect yourself because you're living in the same community that the police was carrying rifles with the riot hat, the riot jacket, the flak jacket, the double vest, the 9 millimeter Glocks with extra bullets, the tear gas, the mace, all that. Who do you think the police is using that against? Dogs? The same crime element that white people fear, we fear. So we defend ourselves from the same crime element that they scared of. You know what I'm saying? While they waiting for, to, for legislation to pass and everything, we next door to the killer. All them killers that they letting out, they right there in that building. But it's better, just because we black, we get along with the killers or something? We get along with the rapists because we black and we from the same hood? What is that? We need protection too. So we fighting the same villains that they fight in the street. But instead of them seeing us fighting villains in the street, we all villains. You're trying to start a positive movement for black people by using negative symbolism like thug and outlaw. Shakur's private life has drawn more attention than his music. The rapper has been arrested 10 times since 1991. I was on trial for rape and sodomy and guns possessions and forcible kidnapping, 50 about 18 charges. That's why I wanted to die at that point. Because I was like, you know what I mean? I'm tired. Rapper and actor Tupac Shakur recently arrested in Atlanta following the shooting of two off-duty policemen. Authorities say two officers were crossing the street when a car driving recklessly nearly hit them. It seemed like there was a time, though, that you were definitely reveling in the image of sort of being wild and crazy. And what got you off that path? It's stupid and it's dangerous. The man I knew wanted to use his voice to educate, to bring people together. I got shot. I always felt like I'd be shot, but I didn't think it was going to happen at that particular moment. My mother taught me three things, respect, knowledge, and, and she taught me to not be quiet. Let everybody out there know, all you motherfuckers that thought you was going to bury me, thought you was going to silence me, let you motherfuckers know I'm if I can't live free, if I can't live with the same respect as the next man, I don't want to be here because God has cursed me to see what life should be like. I had to go through all that street, war, everything, the same drugs that everybody else get turned out on. You know, where I would have been stopped shorted, I made it past. And here's where I am. It's like you hungry, you reached your level, you don't want any more. We asked 10 years ago, we was asking. You know, now that those people that were asking, they're all dead and in jail. White folks, black folks, Korean folks, Mexican folks, Puerto Ricans, we gotta understand each other. We gotta take, take a bigger chance. You, I mean, you need to do something. I want mean, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther, you know? Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. At this level, all we're trying to do is unite. And right now, as a year, we got a million people that's listening. Now we can tell them something. Now we can try to get them that way, and we might lose some, we might gain some, but we would never even have that audience had we not said what was real. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying, that ain't that what we're supposed to do. I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the brain that will change the world, and that's our job. Tupac Shakur rode to fame and riches on his often violent vision of life in the inner city. That vision turned out to be prophetic his own death from multiple gunshot wounds. Rap star Tupac Shakur died last night after a brief life in a rough business. He was 25. I remember calling a Faye and saying, Faye, do I need to get on a plane right now? It was Pac. He'd been shot before, as soon as I see her face. I knew he was gone. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs>
It was real, raw poetry speaking. You know, you're talking about an artist who came from the people and decided that his work was going to reflect, you know, the conditions that were going on in America during his lifetime, his short 25 years on this planet. And he left behind something that has touched generations of people. And to understand it, there's very few artists that we can say to have been multi-generational uh, forces. It was important for Tupac to have a free spirit, to be allowed to be free. And so I rejoiced with him. I think the most important thing for me is that people today view him as an artist and as a humanitarian and as a person who felt other people's pain. If there was war and peace, peace wins out. I just want to form it and let it work.